Hey, it's Seth from Citizens Disability. Today I'm going to tell you what you need to know about applying for Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits in the Empire State. I want to be part of it. New York. Every state's different. That's obvious and everyone knows it. But what's less obvious, what most folks don't know, is that that applies to SSDI claims or Social Security Disability Insurance claims as well. Because of the way the Social Security Administration structures this process, the state you live in has a real effect on an applicant's waiting times and on their likelihood of winning their benefits at each step of the process. Now, we track this data pretty closely. We've updated our numbers as we do every year in February, so this New York data is certified fresh for 2021. Now, as you may know from watching some of our other videos, and there's plenty of them, there's basically three steps in the SSDI application process. You got the initial application, reconsideration, and the hearing. Now, those first two steps, the initial application and reconsideration, are handled at the state level by state-run disability determination services, agencies who work on behalf of the Social Security Administration, you know, follow all the same rules and all the same regulations. Now, as you can see from this chart coming in from the right, over the past year in New York State, about 43.9% of initial applications for SSDI benefits were approved. And you can see how that compares here to this national average of 38.4%. It's a difference of 5.5% to the good side. They're leading that average. You can also see how New York has done over the years going back to 2010. And we can see that since 2015, New York has continued to increase their initial application approval rate. As we made this video in February 2021, New York ranks 14th in the nation in terms of approvals at the initial level. And that's pretty good, no doubt about it. But it does still mean that one, uh, sorry, over five out of every 10 initial applications for disability benefits are being denied in New York. And if those odds make you a little bit worried, you know, thinking about your own potential claim, it's understandable, but there's no reason to panic. The first reason not to panic is you got people like us here at Citizens Disability, specialized disability advocates who can help with the application process to improve a claimant's chances of success at every stage. And if you want to see how an advocate could help you with your claim, click this little banner up here in the top right, and you can watch a video all about it. Second reason not to panic is that being denied at initial application does not have to be the end of the road. And that's because when people get denied at initial application, typically they're going to appeal that denial and ask for reconsideration or recon as we call it. Reconsideration is also handled at the state level. As this chart coming in from the right is going to show you, it is actually pretty rare for people to get approved at reconsideration, the second stage of the process. You can see that reflected in both the New York data and the national data. New York, with an approval rate of 19.5%, is a decent bit ahead of the national average of 13.7%, but those are still pretty low numbers. You can also see how New York has done over the last 10 years, and we can see that although New York took like kind of a steep dive in 2018, they're still well ahead of the national average. And overall in 2021 so far, New York ranks seventh in the nation in terms of approval at reconsideration. Not too shabby. Now the majority of people who apply for SSDI benefits in the United States do have to go to the third stage of the process called the hearing. And that's going to be true for many, if not actually the majority of applicants from New York as well. Now, we got a ton of information on our website and other videos here on YouTube all about the hearing. If you want all the details, you can even see what a hearing is actually like. Just click this banner up here in the top right. But the short version is, if you've been denied at reconsideration, you appeal that denial, and you're going to go to a hearing in front of an administrative law judge who works for the Social Security Administration at the federal level. Now, this is another area where all the states are very different. Most states have at least one, but usually several SSA hearing locations throughout the state. New York's pretty big, so they got a bunch. Each individual office has its own individual waiting time, and it's got their own approval rate. In this chart, you can see coming in from the right, you can see how New York fares on average across all the offices against the national average for approval rates at hearing. It looks like through 2020 and into 2021 so far, New York is coming in at 55.9% on average. Compare that to this national average of 51.1%. That puts New York ranking 12th in the nation. 
Now, when you appeal and you ask for that hearing, we should warn you, it can take a pretty long time for that hearing to actually happen. And of course, we got a video all about that too. Just click up in the top right. When it comes to hearing wait times for New York, you can see them here in these blue bars. We have a national average of 11.4 months of waiting time before the hearing. We can see that across the state of New York, the average is 12 months, exactly one year. That's just the average though. You can see there's more than one hearing location in New York. You can see that the shortest waiting time in the state is White Plains with a waiting time of 10.2 months. The longest waiting time in the state is gonna be at Long Island with a waiting time of 14.6 months. So now with only four of their 10 offices having that shorter waiting time than the national average, New York currently has about a month longer wait overall on average. You can also see that each office has its own approval rates. Those are the red bars over here. And in looking at our 2020 data leading into 2021, we can see that the best situation is New York Varick in the South Village of Manhattan with an approval rate of 74.4%. Seven, wait, 74%? That is, that's in the sky. That's really good. Things are less rosy looking, though, over in the Buffalo office with a rate of 43.1%. So overall, New York does have that higher approval rate with only three of their offices falling below the national average. That's the Bronx, ancestral homeland of my forebears, Buffalo, and Cuse. So in looking at our data, we can see that for approval rates at hearing, New York overall ranks, as we had said previously, 12th in the nation, while for hearing waiting times, New York ranks 30th in the nation. The important thing to remember here, though, is that these waiting times that we're talking about for New York on average and for each of these individual offices, those are average waiting times. Some folks may get their hearings quicker than these average times, but some folks, they're going to have to wait longer, sometimes even a lot longer than those average numbers. Now, we have got a lot more data about New York State at our website. It's www.citizensdisability.com, and you can check it all out. Come visit us. Click on our state-by-state -state page and click into your state. We update our data every year so you can stay current on what's happening and have up-to-date information at your fingertips, and believe me, it changes every year. Now, if you are thinking about applying for SSDI benefits, no matter where you are in the country or what the approval rates are there, we strongly encourage you to please get help from a disability advocate, you know, like us here at Citizens Disability or a local specialist attorney. Especially after looking at all those approval rate numbers, you want to have the best possible chance of getting approved for your benefits. That's what an advocate can help you with. At Citizens Disability, we've been helping regular folks all across America apply for and win their SSDI benefits, and we've been doing it for over a decade. No advocacy group is more aggressive than we are, and no one handles more cases per year than we do. And if you want to see if we can help you, no problem. Just come visit us again. It's www.citizensdisability.com, or you can just call us at the number on the screen. Hey, thanks for watching our video about applying for SSDI benefits in the Empire State. I want to be part of it, New York. If you liked what you saw here and you want to see more, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell so you can get a notification whenever we publish more videos. Also, do us another favor, tell us what you think in that comment section down there. We got a ton of content on the SSDI process, how it all works and how we can help you. So please do feel free to explore both at our website and here on YouTube. I hope I see you again soon for another video. Until then, I'll just say thanks for watching and of course, have a great day.